up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, coming to you today to share some exciting news about why law school will get easier and easier in the coming years. Before I get into it, please do me a favor, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. So why will law school admissions get easier and easier in the coming years? The short answer is simply that fewer people will be applying, so law schools will have no choice but to admit students with lower numbers than they otherwise would have. And they'll also admit more students in anticipation of the drop in the number of applicants. But why will fewer people be applying? And how do law schools know this will happen? Well, I have to backtrack a little bit. During the 2008 recession, people had fewer kids because the economy was bad. The U.S. birth rate is currently down nearly 20% since prior to the recession. And according to the Higher Education Demand Index, it's down even more in the demographic groups that typically go to college. This means fewer people will apply to college in the year 2026 and beyond. Fewer people apply, it's easier to get in. And because fewer people will be going to college, fewer will be graduating, so fewer will be applying to law school. This means it'll be easier to get into law school in the year 2030 and beyond. Now, colleges and law schools are aware of this demographic cliff, and they're really worried about it. One Harvard academic, Clayton Christensen, predicts that half of colleges and universities will close or go bankrupt by the year 2030. Fewer students means fewer tuition dollars. Some schools already have trouble getting applicants as it is, so many lower-ranked schools will likely close their doors and go out of business. Of course, no institution wants to go out of business. And even if they're technically nonprofits for tax purposes, they have the same concerns as any business. Smart schools will plan ahead by accepting more students prior to this enrollment cliff created by the demographic cliff. This will give them more tuition dollars to plan for the lean times ahead. So to summarize, admissions will be easier in 2030 and beyond because there will actually be fewer students graduating from college and applying to law school, and it'll be easier prior to 2030 because schools will accept more students in anticipation of the impending cliff that starts in 2030. So every year, as we get closer to 2030, admissions will get easier and easier as schools become increasingly concerned about the impending threat to their tuition dollars posed by having fewer students in the applicant pool. Not only will they admit more students and increase their class sizes, but they'll also remove other barriers to applying, like application fees, and they'll stop raising tuition so much each year. They'll also increase scholarship money significantly, which will in turn decrease their tuition revenue. I'd even expect some schools to automatically admit students based on their LSAT scores without requiring them to submit application essays. And other schools may eliminate standardized test requirements altogether. They'll also hire more faculty and build nicer buildings to attract students. And the number of schools offering online JDs will increase significantly. It's worth noting that the drop in applicants will be much more severe for smaller and lower ranked law schools that rely heavily on tuition dollars. It's less important for larger and elite institutions that have large endowments and other sources of revenue. Elite schools will be better able to compete to recruit applicants so they won't see the same decline in applications as the non-elite schools, and they likely won't need to increase class sizes in anticipation or reduce their LSAT and GPA medians to the same extent. In fact, some believe that elite schools like Harvard and other top 14 law schools will actually see increased demand as we approach the year 2030. Regardless, it'll be much easier to get into the majority of schools outside the top 14, and elite schools may see a relatively weaker applicant pool as well, which could make it 
easier to get in. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like the video, leave a comment sharing your thoughts about this, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help, and I really do appreciate it. In the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.